Good morning, folks. As you see, it's your boy, Ryan and Tyler here. What's going on, guys? It's very early in the morning. Super early. But we here with the rest of the crew, getting ready for cars and coffee. Right now, we're at uh, Mr. Hardy's. Uh, Superior Auto for you. So check him out, shout out to him, and we want to give a special thanks to him inviting us out, as well as Fran Clint. Right now we're getting a tour of the garage. As you see, they got some pretty special cars. This is a sneak peek of, uh, of the car. Um, it blew up and <laughs> we're rebuilding it. Yeah. Oh man, so Hi. that's the man right there, Mr. John Hardy. Thank you again, sir. Oh, thank you for coming out. Oh, thank you for coming out. So, so this is the beast, as you said, it blew, the engine blew out right now. How many horses is it supposed to have to the wheels? What's that? How many horses, how many uh, horses to the wheels? Well, man, that's like looking up a pig's ass and telling you how many pork chops <laughs> I'm going to get. Damn right. Oh, but. As much as I can put to the back end, that's how much it's going to get. <laughs> see everybody made it here but it was they didn't think the, the little Corolla and the smart car could keep up what we did no on the bridge I was like oh no, no, no. Hey, I was, you know it's not about the motor it's how big your balls are exactly <laughs> you heard what he said the, brand, the newest uh, gen 3 CTSV he's got 832 wheel horsepower 800 Justin in the back that's his car my goodness yeah that's bad. <laughs> Man, how much is daughter? That's not. No. <laughs> stock was 650. 640. Yeah. Still, but that's a that's still a lot. But 650. Yeah. Um, it's come supercharged, so it's a lot easier to make more power. So methanol injection, pulley swap, headers. Wow. Exhaust intake. A lot of tuning. But he drives it. He, he can daily drive it if he wants to. Yeah. Oh, mild man. 800. 800. Yeah. Dead serious. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It just have somebody look at you crazy. You'd be like, what? Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, be like what? Drive it. All right. Now it's a little bit lighter, and we just got finished talking to Miss Rhea and Mr. Doug. I'm about to go in there. So. We just got finished speaking to them about their beautiful fire car, fire, fire orange, I should say, Corvette, and it was beautiful. It's a ZR1. It's one of 500, but it's one of 100 in that color. Feature eyes on that 2017 NSX. Yes, I'm getting them. I'm getting me one. That's one of my cars. I'm getting me one. They pulling in. Thank you. 
one in the works. We do have one in the works. We do have one in the works. Oh, we're beginning to work on it? Yeah, we're working on the works. You heard, you heard it from, from the man. Coming soon. I'm not going to say when.
that's why you don't see the two. And that's why you don't see 2015, 2016, 2017, or 2018. Two doors, two trees. Because they're now in force. Ah. So that's. I'm going to do something new today, guys. That's one thing I picked up. This is what we won with the first cars on the first. Yeah? This is uh, the Nissan uh, GT. tower it's, it's it's so light too like it's a lot of trunk space is is real it's like an economical everyday car but it's a track ready car so don't get fooled so, nice owners like i said the only one they know of in the area is one of 50 so this is a rare beauty right here the nissan is my gtr so. and uh back to my car <laughs> oh once again a lotus succeeds <laughs> Is this like a siege? I think this might be a siege. Not too sure. Yep, this is a siege. You can tell by the scoop and the big wing on the back. And I definitely cannot fit in this one. There's no fitting in this one for I. It's a go kart though. <laughs> <laughs> As you heard nice way to notice that. <laughs> so yeah, there's no chance of me fitting in that. There's no chance of me fitting in this one. Sit right next to this beautiful hurricane. Oh yeah. The hurricane. The beautiful hurricane. Beautiful engine bay. Same engine as the car we just reviewed. The R8. So as okay. you saw last week when we had the R8 out, shout out to Clint yeah, again. Thank you, Clint, again for giving us joy. It's a lot of a life. So last week, as you saw, <laughs> us uh, take a R8 out for review. Yeah, this engine is the same as you'll find in that engine, but it's a little bit more features. This one's more luxury than that one. That one's more track. Yes, ready. sir. That's exactly right. <laughs> so these two are twins, basically. Yeah, we so just did a car review on this one uh, last, last weekend. Week. Oh yeah. Yeah. We did. We had the. Um, Where can I find it? This is mine. I did. Like it. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, Jason. Jason, nice pleasure meeting you. Ryan, nice Ryan to meet you as well. Yeah. And the Huracan right there. It's my buddy Alex's with the blue okay. shirt. Okay. Awesome. How you doing, Alex? <laughs> yeah, we do car reviews on YouTube. Uh, the Road Crew is our, our channel. What's it called? The, the Road, Road Crew. Crew. Road Crew? Okay, yeah, yeah. look it up. Definitely. Thank you, thank you. Did you, did you do uh, R8 and R8 Plus? We did the R8 Plus. plus. Mm -hmm. The new one too, the 2017 this, model. Yeah, I, man, I, I didn't want to wait for the damn Plus. I know. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I, I know. I didn't want to wait for the Plus. So as you see, we made another connection. Shout out to Mr. Jason. This is his beautiful R8 right here, mm -hmm. as well as Deuce us to the guy with the Lamborghini Huracan. And Soon to be doing footage with these two. And like Tyler said, he pointed out something unique on here. As you see the forged carbon right here on the engine. That's one of the main features that's been um, incorporated into the Performante um, that holds the new record. Yeah. At the Nuremberg That's Sim's other favorite car right there, <laughs> the Lamborghini Performante. As much as I love this and we love this and we drove the hell out of it last week and we got a lot of good reviews. <laughs> Somehow amazing. Sim is still He's still sold on the Hurricane. He's still sold on the Hurricane. I'm sold on the R8. Now, not to put down Lamborghini. I love another. Lamborghini. I love Lamborghini. It'd be the car I get after I get the R8. <laughs> But Same engine, but we'll do a comparison video here in the near future. So, so stay tuned as you get a look at the interior. Now, as you see, uh, speaking with Mr. Jason, he noticed that both cars, as he stated, are the same basically. But this one is more track ready, where this one 
as you see, and even like last week when we drove it, this one is more everyday use. It's more luxurious. You get a better feel for it. So it won't kill you or nothing like that. <laughs> so yeah, in the future we will have uh, where you guys at? the episode where we will be comparing the two between the R8 and the Oh, inside the Boulevard. And we let y'all decide which one y'all want. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> ready. GT and me and Rai have both seen online that there's a new one released for 2008 but i'm not too sure i'm sold on it yet <laughs> as you can the natural lines on this i love, haven't changed it no now this one is uh like a 2014 2015 model mm -hmm. and i love the maserati gts they they are they are still unique um having the honor to sit by behind one and start the engine up on one and this is really a, a beautiful car like, this is another everyday used car that you can have fun with enjoy yourself a luxury sports car that you know you could feel like james bond for the evening <laughs> definitely the hassle of trying to wake up sim yeah the hassle of trying to wake up sim. <laughs> once in a while they get project cars oh yeah sim Sam. <laughs> okay, it's been forwarded to an automated voice message. So if you're watching this, Sam, wake up. <laughs> but on to better note, this is a special car right here. This is the car my girlfriend, who's happened to be, her name is Julia as well. As you may notice, I shouted out her many a time. The Alfa Romeo Julia. This is a car that she really loves. I do believe this one is the quadrifold wheel. I'm not too sure. Let's take a look in the back. Okay. Is it? It's a regular Julia. It's not the quadrifold wheel, but it's still a beautiful car. This is the car that my girlfriend loves because clearly it's named after her. It's a beautiful car. This one uh, is a regular model, so this one I think is pushing out like 295 or 300 horsepower, where the Quadrifoglio is pushing out like 505 horsepower. So I think I'm gonna get her the lower line one because <laughs> she's not ready for 505 horsepower because uh -oh. she tries to push the Corolla Don't like say she's that. crazy. Don't say that. So putting her but behind a 500 horsepower beast would be putting both of our lives in danger. So she's not quite clearly ready for that. <laughs> this is a beautiful car. I love it. This is it's a four-door sedan. So it's a sports sedan basically. So I know she loved this. So baby, shout out to you. I will get you this one day soon. So take a look at the back of this. Take a look at your future car right here. And then. And then for her, I will replace the G with a J and spell out her name on it. <laughs> Especially for her. Soon coming. Soon coming. This one, it has, it's a hybrid. It has the, uh, the electric engine as well as it has a regular gasoline engine in here. Together it produces 357 horsepower. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice. Yeah. For electric car. And it's, it's, it's real cool because not only because it's hybrid, but look at the doors. So you can pull up to the scene, <laughs> real clean. And this one is a real everyday used car too as well because it's a car that you probably save on gas and everything of that nature and still look very nice. And as you see, you got the LED display for the dashboard, the screen for navigation. Uh, got all your controls in the center console it's even a four by four where you see it it has so tight squeeze <laughs> we can't fit back but, there uh, it's a tight squeeze so you're gonna have to fit midgets back baby here. infants or midgets yeah <laughs> well not to uh let's let's not say midgets not the m word yes uh, apologize short people uh small people including julia and julia and taylor, taylor. <laughs> you guys are included in that bunch and sim and sim, <laughs> is included in that sim. Bunch too. We love you, man. We but love you, you're sir. asleep, so we gotta pick on you. Yeah, yeah. This is what happens when you don't wake up. You miss out on the IH. I don't know if uh, last time we was here that we got this, but 
Uh, this one is the Nissan Skyline. I think this is the R32 model. And this one, as you see, is special because it got the right hand steering. So that's a. Sorry, guys. So as you see, that's a. This is a straight JDM model, and got the Nismo rims. Uh, this thing looks race ready already. Right here in steering, right here. So as you're you not going to see that much. Right. Yeah. And no, it's they're imported like that. That, that, that. Correct. So yeah, your eyes are not playing you. They're imported. This one is straight from Japan. This is a, a classic <laughs> yeah. car. This is a, it's a beautiful car. Nice features on it. Of it. Got the band aids. <laughs> <laughs> nice little repair there. Yeah, but as you see, we got the back tail lights, the GTR emblem, and take a look on the driver's side over here. See, this is this is this is a classic beauty right here. So I love it. It's one of my favorite cars. 